Leaders of the U.S. Senate's Foreign Relations Committee have agreed on a draft resolution for the use of military force in Syria, setting a 60-day limit on the intervention. Despite a protester calling for no more wars, the document will be put before the full committee for a vote. Secretary of State John Kerry had earlier been making President Obama's case for action. We all agree there will be no American boots on the ground. The president has made crystal clear we have no intention of assuming responsibility for Syria's civil war. He's asking for authorization to degrade and deter Bashar al-Assad's capacity to use chemical weapons. If approved, the resolution will be sent to the full Senate next week. The UN Secretary General, meanwhile, has warned a military response could create more turmoil and that it's the job of the Security Council to act. The use of force is lawful only when in exercise of self-defense in accordance with uh, Article 51 of the United Nations Charter and or when the Security Council approves uh, such action. President Obama has put his political reputation on the line over next week's congressional vote over military action, but by the end of Tuesday he had already won the backing from some key U.S. political figures, including Republican leaders John Boehner and Eric Cantor.